This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, A Proposed New College Football Playoff System. I've always had a problem with the way the college football national championships are formulated, whereby no more than four teams are selected for a playoff system involving just three games, the semifinals and national championship. Other college sports, particularly basketball, have a more inclusive system of brackets involving many teams. So why not football? Even state high school championships include more teams. Currently, the Final Four is based on a selection committee, which is greatly influenced by newspaper polls. Further, it is possible that a single conference can have more than one team in the playoffs, such as Alabama and Georgia of the SEC in 2017. It doesn't sound very fair, does it? And discourages inclusion by many other fine teams. Part of the problem is scheduling. I've watched the Ohio State Buckeyes for 50 years now. Back in the 1960s, they would play a nine-game schedule and a visit to the Rose Bowl if they won the Big Ten. Today, all Big Ten teams play a 12-game schedule, followed by a conference championship pitting East versus West, a bowl game, and possibly the final four playoffs. This year, Ohio State is likely to play 15 games, assuming they make it to the championship. How about this instead? There are many Division I college conferences around. For example, the ACC, the Big Ten, Big 12, Big East, Big Sky, Big West, Conference USA, the MAC, Mountain West, Pac-12, SEC, Southern Conference, Sun Belt, WAC, West Coast, and, of course, Independence. There are, of course, many more, but let's stay with these 16 for the purpose of example and to give us a round playoff number. Let's assume each team in the conference plays a regular season of 10 games, followed by a conference championship game, which could be played in a bowl setting, giving us 16 bowls. The winner of each conference would then be seated based on press polls and put in eight matchups, round one bracket. Again, these could be played in a bowl setting, giving us eight more bowl games. The winners of round one would then play in four quarterfinal games with eight teams in round two and four more bowls. The winners of the quarterfinals would then play in the semifinals, round three, with four teams and two more bowls. And of course, the final national championship game with two teams, round four, and one last bowl. This would give us a total of 29 bowl games. Currently, there are 40 bowl games played. The surplus bowls could be used for matches between conference runner-ups. Isn't this why the National Invitation Tournament, the NIT, was created in basketball? So, going back to the Ohio State example mentioned earlier, where they may play 15 games this year, here is how it would work under this system for any of the teams depending on their performance. Ten regular season games. One conference championship game. One round one playoff game one round two quarterfinal game, one round three semifinal game, and one round four national championship game, giving us a total of 15 games. In other words, there's no difference in terms of games. Under this scenario, though, there would be no excessive regular season games. If a team did poorly, their season would mercifully come to an end. This system avoids the problem having two teams from the same conference participate in the national championship. Critics would argue, what if the best teams come from one conference? Well, then let them slug it out in their conference championship instead. Better yet, this playoff approach establishes rivalries between whole conferences as opposed to just team versus team. Conceivably, this would stimulate attendance and media participation. Imagine Big Ten versus SEC or ACC versus Pac-12, etc., Basically, it takes the playoff system out of the hands of a selection committee and the sports media and opens the door for more teams to be given a chance. Better yet, it makes the conference championships and playoffs more meaningful. So, what do you think? Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.